Hey, it's a little, another quick video here. Just uh, calling it how I see it in the uh, real estate space and um, primarily the single family rental space. So some things I'm seeing in the in the single family rental space, which includes build for rent, includes buying portfolios of homes. It includes uh, community builds, which is more like multifamily. As I'm out there seeking more land holders and those who have aggregated lots and big developers. The funny thing I'm finding is that many of these people are already jumping into the build to rent space. I just talked to a group just recently. They own tens of thousands of lots around the country. They sell a lot of their lots to home builders. They've got over a thousand build for rent or build to rent homes in production right now. And they're flying under the radar. What people don't have to think about is a lot of these uh, big developers are backed by private equity. They're not stupid. They see what's going on in the space and they're jumping in. So it's creating more, I guess, more competition. But really there's such a need that there's a long way to go before we're at a oversupply of houses or oversaturation of rentals. You know, we've seen recently quite a few people move to home ownership because financing is so cheap, but we still have a lot of people that are wanting to rent. And as I mentioned in my last post, you know, really single family rentals are kind of becoming, especially new construction, the new entry level homes. So that's exciting. Some interesting things in the market. I mean, we're seeing real carnage in the commercial markets, whether that's office buildings, uh, multifamily in, in urban areas retail, shopping centers, eventually that's going to affect other parts of the economy. And I just, I just don't know what it's going to mean, but I can tell you this, we've been inundated with 1031 exchange buyers, um, helping them place money into the single family rental space. Because think about it, where else in, in real estate do you want to invest? And I think single family rentals is a positive asset class to, sh to invest in. It's a shameless plug, I, I guess. Um, debated a lot of people on LinkedIn about the differences between SFR and multifamily, and I'm, I'm bullish on it on SFR. So that's that. That's what I see. You know, I'm still really worried about a lot of these people being displaced and aren't going to be able to pay their rent coming up, um, depending on their rent moratoriums. Or how about all the small landlords who can't evict the tenants and can't get their mortgage payments paid? What's going to happen to all of their houses? It's not so simple. The marketplace isn't frictionless enough that those people can easily go to a place and just sell their house. Now we're trying to build that. We're trying to create that. Us and some other companies are trying to create a marketplace that if you have a single family rental and you need to fund to buy it. It's almost like an iBuyer, right? But it's not quite there yet. So a lot of these people are going to go through a lot of heartache if they keep extending these eviction moratoriums. And what's the right thing to do? People can't pay their rent. People can't pay their mortgage. Do you protect everybody from risk? We're protecting the, the bondholders that, that own these mortgage bonds. We're protecting the, the lenders. Uh, we're protecting the borrowers. We're protecting the renters. I'm sorry, the owner-occupied borrowers. We're protecting the renters, but we're not protecting the small investor. That just doesn't seem right. And in fact, I don't know even know if we should be protecting everybody because if there's no risk of losing an asset or losing money, then what's the market for? Just something I want to think about. The next thing is, you know, I have an opportunity to do some LinkedIn live videos. I haven't been doing them lately. Um, what would you like to see? You know, I've thought about maybe uh, interviewing home builders, really highlighting some of these home builders that work in the bill for rent space. Um, I want to keep it fresh and interesting. And so that's why I haven't really done them recently. But uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. Lastly, I did a uh, John Burns event last week. It was fantastic. I highly recommend recommend John Burns and what, what they do. And I was on a panel and I did a breakout session and it's brought me a lot of business. You know, we're going to be working with some larger build for rent builders, helping sell their communities, sell their portfolios and expose them to these 1031 exchange buyers. So that's something that uh, we really tapped into that, the small investor, that small investor can pay more than an institutional fund. Think about that for a minute. Thanks. Comment, share, tell me what you think. I look forward to hearing from you.